All right, we're in the uh, New Year 2023 Nine Hole Cup. That's where we're at. We're in Friday's qualifying round. I am, I am getting over being sicker than a dog all week. I've been sick for the last three days, but, but today I actually feel halfway normal. You know how it is when you get over it. It's like it's, it's the day that if you stress yourself, you'll be right back. But uh, and we're going on vacation. I'm. Monday morning at 2 o'clock, so I've got like 48 hours to get completely better. And I did take a COVID test, and I don't have COVID, so it's just like the flu or something. I'm, I'm, of course, like right before you go on vacation. Like, there you go. There you have it. So let's see if we can get a round in. I may have time tomorrow morning to actually play around. I will not have time tomorrow afternoon as we're leaving and packing up everything and going to Portland and it's gonna be there Sunday, and it's a, it's, it's a, it's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this done. Hole number one. All right, I'm just gonna go play. I have no idea. I have no freaking notes. I have no. Do I have notes? No, I have no notes. I had notes for the last one. I didn't take any notes for this. So shit. Look at that. We'll just have to play it blind. How bad is that? I think I can do this with the kingmaker. So we should probably see what the wind is. I was playing this the other day, and like in the past, I think they, I'm not sure if they changed this hole a little bit, but in the past, it seemed like I was, hang on, let me get rid of some of this shit. I was using this area coming at it, but the other day it seemed like from here, with top spin, you could do a rough bump and bleed out, and that's what I did, and it was actually pretty easy, so I'm going to try it again. I don't normally go from that side. Usually the center is easier, but it worked out better. So let's try it. Let's see. Let's see what kind of wind we got. That wind will work. That wind will work. You must have found your phone. Bye. My mother-in-law staying with us, and she said, "Oh, you're gonna have to go back to my house and get my phone." I called it, and she's like, "No, it's not in the house." Evidently, it was. She just found it. Yay! <laughs> it's super stormy. I really don't feel like leaving the house today. So, my wife took her, and she's. Wiped out. Here we go. Life. What the hell? Can't we just all just play games and have fun? Damn it. Okay, 1.9. It's 2.1 per ring. I'm just going to do a one ring pull. I'm trying to get it perfect. Hit it perfect. Now we need it to clip that rough. There we go. Slow down. Whoa down, Cat Daddy. Whoa down. Get to the rough. Or get to the fringe. There we go. Not the rough. What was I thinking? <laughs> Don't make me have to take a putt. I can see that being very problematic on headwind days. See what my opponent's got going. Uh, this should be a hole that, like, there are ways. If you bring out a bigger power ball, like, you're almost guaranteed to get over there. Especially if you hit it off the center and just lay it up in front. I say that, but this is one of those holes that you're, like, counting on, but it kicks your ass. Still got a little work to do. Hit me perfect. Dead 
center. All right, hole number one in the bag. Yeah, I've been so sick this week. I haven't gone back and watched the, I shot the walkthrough scouting report and had a pretty good round. But did not take any notes. At all. Right, hole number one. Hole number two. Here we go. Let's see if we can get something going. I did get a couple Albies the other day, but I did not get any hole in ones. And this is a hole. These racetrack holes, originally on this course, these this part three and there's another part three, they're called the racetrack holes, where you're basically now we can come at it from over on this side, but originally you pretty much were stuck coming over here and then trying to roll it around to get it down to the cup and it 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 was it was a really gimmicky hole i mean you were always close but if you got onto the green you were usually at roll down and it was pretty close but it and you could get it to go in but it wasn't one of those i'm actually thinking of i think i believe i brought out a thor's hammer the other day and i tried to do a dunk because there is enough room here for it to suck it back down the hill but I'm not so sure. Let's check out my my Thor's hammer. Ninety-seven backspin, four point one versus the rocket, four point two. A lot less distance. I'm gonna bring my Thor's hammer. I think I have a bag set up with it, just for this hole. Now I cannot remember what ball I brought. I'm going to bring a katana just to make sure I can get up there. If I need to, I can up it. Now, I did a straight up shot the other day and I was off. So I'm going to add on a little bit today. Let me get my trusty, dusty calculator out here. We'll play it. If I can get an opponent, that is a big IF. What's funny is I'm seeing Dunner's pitcher in there, so Dunner must be in my bracket. That is funny. I'm going to have to check my bracket and see if Dunner's in it. Ruben goes first. And he's definitely a minimum club. Let's see how it goes for him. Isn't it perfect? Yeah, and in the past, you could get it to ride up like that. That was the place you wanted to be up as high towards that fringe as possible. And roll it down. There's so many freaking variables here. It's tough. Okay, so I'm at mid. I'm going to play a max number. So I'm going to play max. Shit, that was two rings great to the left. That was so far off. I'm surprised it didn't hit the tree. <laughs> but now I got a second chance. And I did notice the other day that I was right on line with it and it came out on the it came out on the right hand side. 
I was curious where it had started. I was curious to see if it would come more towards the cup. The problem that I had right there is I didn't have freaking numbers for my Thor. So let's look up Thor. Let's look up wind chart numbers. I think I have a level six. Let's write that number down. Because even if I'd have hit it perfect there, I don't think I had any shot because I, I guesstimated. Ah, there it is. Now I see it. It was 1.7 and I was thinking it was 1.9. Should have been two and a half rings and I moved it. Can't remember. But I don't think I moved it two and a half. All right, I got that number written down now. Let's not have that problem again. Hole number three. I got an Albi on this hole the other day. And we are playing this configuration. This is the new configuration. And I'm putting my ball into this spot. You can still put your ball here, but you do, as far as arc goes, you're inside if you can get it up into this area. The perfect spot, yeah, if you get it all the way up here, you go, yeah, well, you get it all up there, you're on the same track. Well, now the trees are in the way. So there's a, in this area out here, there's a very small little window. If you're farther back from that, you need to have a big dog or a bigger ball or a cat or something in order to get you out there. Now, this little finger right here is new. So this area here is new. It used to not be there, so it gives you kind of an opportunity if you hit it a little short back in this area, you could still pick this window up and still be able to get to the cup. But I'm going to take the new route, which on the old configuration, we never went this way. This is where they did weddings out in this field. So if you hit the ball out there, they'd get all pissed off at you. And I'm going to take a kingmaker and a rock. A rock, a rock. And if I remember... Man, I got real. It's it's definitely it's either a little bit of backspin or just a little bit of top spin. One backspin is like ringing a bell, but I'm not sure. Damn, I didn't check my bracket to see if Dunner's in there. But that is definitely Dunner's. Image. Rolling around. Me trying to find an opponent for the... Come on, just give me a replay and let's roll. Quit wasting my time. Come on. It's a party rough clan. I do remember that if you're taking the shot over on the side where my opponent's at, you really want to be thinking about like a plus 10. Which I'm sure is probably the same on the side that I'm shooting at. But it's really easy when you're down in this pocket to overshoot it and clip the rough. And you got to put curl on it and it's a little bit tough. If, if you can over curl it and end up in that sand trap that's out there in the middle of the fairway. And they're short shooting that shot. And there used to be some trees that cast shadows out into that, and we would be looking for that shadow, and that's pretty close to the right spot, like the perfect spot. I'm gonna put just one topspin on I'd rather be short. I'm gonna give myself three rings of separation. 2.1. I'm going to do two, three. Hit it perfect. Now it's all about distance. Oh, 
All right. And in the past, if you were playing from the side that my opponent's playing from, that little landing spot that they're on right now is where you would be playing from. What's tough about that is if they overpulled it, that second bounce is so damn close to the rough right there. Perfect. Ooh. That might that's that's gotta look. It's gotta got a good run. Nice. All right, what do we got here? 3.1. Where am I at in my club? I'm at max. Three point five six rings, so three point six rings. There's three, six. Let's hit this perfect. Give us an Albi. Hitting it perfect. Getting a hole. <laughs> that was Max Club with a 15% adjustment. Just needed like a little teeny bit more backspin. Like maybe half a bar. Maybe a quarter of a bar. Just a little. <coughs> Everything's loose. That's good. All right. We know we're on the right track there. A little teeny bit of work. Not as lucky as I could have been. Hole number four. Okay, first let's see which way the wind's blowing. Side wind. Hole number four. All right, I'm doing the rough up on this, and I, I'm once again, this hole just stymies me. I've made hole in ones on this hole. Anybody who's played this game for any length of time and played this hole, you obviously, you, you know, you can get hole in ones on it. But this is always one of those holes that it just seems like you're always just a little off. It goes in sometimes, but not as often as I would like. Since I have no notes, I'm not expecting big things. But let's get a hole in one right here. I don't know if I noticed the other day any big major changes with the new pin placements. It seemed like there was maybe one hole. They're doing their wind adjustment. Trying to figure out what ball. They were in, they got caught in the ball deal. One and three quarter back, one and three quarter left. What kind of ball is it? Three power, three precision. Moved 
it a ring and two, maybe 1.2. You didn't pull it enough, dude. I mean, it's one per ring at max. It would have been at least 1.6, and it's downhill. Two point four rings, and I'm way the hell downhill. Two four. Hit me perfect. No, I didn't pull it enough. I did a fifteen percent. I remember when this hole first came out, like just as a standard deal, if you're playing one on one and you got on this hole in a shootout, like just as a standard thing you could do, you needed to do a little bit, like 10%. But it does seem like the hole is hitting different. Party. Oh, I still have some work to do. What's the deal? You're not going to give me that? All right. In the hole. What hole are we on? Hole number. Are we on five? We are on five. Which way is the wind blowing? Got wind going with us. Hole number five. All right. So the other day I put myself in a really shitty spot. I was short right here. I had a shot at it, but I want to get like, and the deal is I used to lay it up right here, but now I'm trying to get way up here, right up against, I'm trying to change my angle. So I'm coming at it like this instead of coming out. Now I know that that doesn't seem like that big of a difference, but the course over here is smoother to the cup. And I was sitting out here and it was always like the, the ball was not responding right on the other end. It was like, it was always off. It was like it was taking an irregular bounce. So instead of trying to just deal with it, I moved my landing spot for my drives, and then I started making albies on this hole. So let's bring out... Let's bring out a Titan. The king of balls. And my extra, extra mile... Let's see if we can't get... Now, I had some weird deal. For my approach shot, it was like... Was it this hole? It's like 25% at mid. That's too much. see if I can overshoot this. There's two. How much spin that I got on there? Four and a half. That might be a half too much. And maybe a quarter more. For some reason, mid club is coming to my mind, but I'm not sure which club I'm in. I'm looking at my notes to see what my numbers are for. This might be in my Grizzly, but 
I think it's in my sniper. I'm not sure. Can't remember. I hit it so poorly the other day. I was in my sniper, and I think it is a sniper shot going in. But I could be wrong. It is. And I am just a little short of where I'd really, really like to be. I'm going to do a three ring adjustment. Damn it. Damn it, Mon. That was not the one to hit great. That was going to go in the hole. That was with a 25% adjustment at Max Club. And I needed just a titch more distance so that I, if I was a little bit short of that, I would have, that rough bump becomes a little problematic. So either getting a titch more distance or bringing out a bigger power ball, not for the first shot, but for the second shot. Now, there used to be a bowl right around the... The cup was in a bowl, a bowl by itself. So if you hit it under the green and you were on the right-hand side on that hill, everything kind of funneled down to that little bowl. They changed that pretty quick. They, when the game came out, there was a few of the holes. There were several holes in the game that were super makeable. That they've definitely tightened them up and changed the dynamics, the physics, so that they're not as makeable. <laughs> there probably isn't a game, a hole in the game that they haven't done some tweaking to from the original. All right, all right, damn it. Perfect, I think that would have been in the hole. That was the one par five the other day that I didn't get an Albion. I was really kind of hoping I'd get it today. That way I could get the trifecta. Hole number six. What is hole number six? Let's see what the wind is. Wind is not bad, not good, just wind. All right, we got, we have wind going in this direction. I'm trying to get out into this area. It seemed to me, do I have to bring out a bigger ball here or is I able to do it with a kingmaker? And this pin placement's a little bit different. The other pin placement, we did find a spot where we could come at it without using a lot of backspin. You could just use a couple backspin, but the newer spot, it's so damn close up here on this that it's... And I'm using... If I can get into my Kingfisher range, I don't know that I have to bring out a bigger ball, but I may, just for safety. I could probably get this done with a 444. Pretty sure. Let me think about what my options are. All right, I think that will work. I think that will work. And I definitely want to take an extra, extra mile. Here we roll. Here we roll. Now, in the past, I'm almost positive that it was like a 10%, 15% adjustment to the cup. It was somewhere right in that neighborhood.
see if my opponent can get it where they want it. That great to the left actually helped them. In the fairway, you'd want to get, I think from where the pin placement is, the farther you can get up there, the better, because you can get your angle correct. Three, three. Did it one ring great to the right? And that actually helped me. <laughs> I should be short iron range, especially with a four power ball. But you can see my angle. Actually, I'd be better off looking at where my angle is. If I was to the left, more over in this area, even if I was just a little bit farther back so that I can try and get, like, put my ball guide where my opponent's got theirs in that little pocket and then run it up to the cup. Because where I'm coming in on the sand, I'm having to use backspin to tighten it up. And I can't remember, I know we were doing like, it was very small. It was like a 10 or a 15% adjustment on this. I can't remember which one it was. So I'm going to do a 12 and a half. I'm going to split the difference. <laughs> I'll hedge my bets. 2.5. 2.5. Where am I at in Kingfisher? There's mid. There's max. There's mid. Damn, I'm eking towards men. Kingfisher, 1.6 at mid. Divided by 1.6, 1.75 rings. Hitting it perfect. <laughs> well, at least I know the 12 and a half is close. Close. Arr. All right. All right. I got three more holes to try and get a seven and three. So let, let's pick this up. I think I've only picked up one shot. In, there's two holes you have to pick up. I mean, you got to get minimum score, which is minus 12. And there's two holes that we have to pick up. That makes it minus 14. We're going to pick up the first par four and the last par four. And all three of these par fives are extremely albiable. Hole number seven. All right. Headwind. And I am trying to figure out a shot on this side, but with the new pin placement, I think the other day my problem was, let me think, it might have been spin. I might have a side spin problem here. any of those. I don't, wanna, don't need a four power ball. I don't think I have anything. I think three side spins about it. I'm gonna take a katana. We'll see what we can get done with a katana. And I have no idea. The 
two holes on this is my absolute favorite course in the game. But the two holes on this course that are my least favorite are these two racetrack par threes, and they have changed them dramatically. But I'd really like them to go out there with a bulldozer and change them dramatically. We'll see. Here we roll. Here we go. Now it does seem that we had a shot, that there was a shot from back. I was getting up close, but it does seem now that I'm watching my opponent set this up. Because not only do we have a new pin placement here, but they just here in the last few tournaments changed this hole. We will see. Hey, baby. Okay. I'm almost done. I got two holes left, and then I'm, I'll make dinner. There we go. All right. All right. I have no clue. Let me set it up first, and then we'll... I have no idea where I'm at in my club. I'm just going to do a four ring pull. Oh, and I hit it great to the right. Go in anyways. And it came in on the left. So what does that tell you? It's hard to tell because that landing area over there is on a hillside. So it's one of those things that if you hit to the right, it'll actually go more to the left. If you hit to the left, it'll go more to the right. So you can't really tell until you hit a perfect what's going on there. And it's one of those areas, too, that you can go the wrong way. You can think, wow, I'm missing it on the right, so I need to make, make an adjustment to the left. I need to, you know, you look at it and you go, hey, I need to pull out wind or I need to... But, the deal is, is because of the landing zone, <laughs> you actually need to make the opposite adjustment. I find holes like that where, like, during the week, it's like I can't, I'm just, I'm constantly behind on them. And by the time I finally get it, or I just never do get it during the week, and you're just in the wrong spot. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get that hole figured out, though. I'll talk to Dunner. Dunner knows the answer on that hole. What's the wind? All right. We have to make this one. I'm pretty sure we can make this. Now, what we don't want to have to do is we don't want to have to do any overpower. So I'm not sure if a four power ball can get us up there. What five power ball do I have the most of? I don't really want to waste one of those. I'll use that one since it's the last one I have left. And they were free. Now I'm pretty sure you can probably do this, especially with Tailwind. You can you don't have to bring out a big power ball. But I do not want to dick around. I do not want to have to do different stuff every time like i may have to do some different stuff if it was headwind but tailwind you take the wind out you hit perfect and it's up on the hole we have to get this this hole in hole number one we're pretty much have to get and that leaves us seven other holes to pick up shots on and i am going to get an albie on hole number nine so i got that going for me Marty goes first. 
Ellen. We'll see. I might be able to with this win drop down to a three power ball. Maybe. And obviously, you can use a one power ball. My opponent did it. Give myself plenty of room here. Four, four. It's four point two is two rings. And I'm gonna do a little more. Hit it. 75,000 rings great to the left. El Perfecto. That's where we... That's Hey, that's all we need on this hole. The whole goal on this hole is to get eagle. And I've put myself in the right spot. Now, there's no guarantee I'm going to make this shot, but if I can't make this shot, then, you know, I got bigger problems. Come on. Here we go. In the hole. All right. Now let's go get our Albi on hole number nine, and we'll have shot our 15, which is not exactly what we're looking for, but it's better than nothing. Now let's see if Dunner's in here. Nope. Where I'm seeing his, uh, I'm seeing Dunner's avatar come up. All right, I'm trying to put my ball right here, and I have the perfect ball for this. So what I'm trying to do is get into this area, getting where'd I go? Hey, hey, hold on. Freaking pan. All right. So I'm trying to clip this area and get it to come out right into this. And the three, a three power ball is perfect. And the top spin boost ball is awesome because before you could just, sometimes you get caught up in the rough or you just barely get over. But if the top spin boost ball, you can actually, shit, I was, I didn't come close to getting over here, but I was definitely more towards this than I was back here. You can't put any curl on this shot. So you got to, it's side spin reliant. For me, this is the the best way to put yourself in the right in a spot where you can get it out. You can shoot to the left, and there's a couple spots where there's lanes that you can get through the trees. But and I believe that this was the ball that I brought. Five top spin boost, four side spin. We like the side spin, but this is definitely one of those shots where you gotta. You want as much topspin as you can get, but you need sides. <laughs> I think I only had one, I had max topspin plus one bar. We'll see. First, let, let me look which way is the wind blowing. Okay, we got winds going good. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get it out. Let's get it out.
It almost seems like at the second shot, you're downhill from the pin. That you should be, well, maybe I had two. I need just a little teeny bit of power to get me there. Four, three. I'm going to push that wind back in. And I'm going to lean just a little. Can't lean much. Nice. Nice roll out. From where I'm at, there's a hump in front of me, but it does seem like I'm uphill. And because I didn't have time to go back and watch the video from the other day, I don't know what I did, what kind of an adjustment I made. The thing about that shot is it's so damn narrow in there that if you're hitting with max overpower, it's, I mean, like, it's super easy to get, like, a, a ring off and you're, like, it can be bad. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, baby. Min Grizzly. Minimum Grizzly is 1.4 per ring. And I can get way down here too. I'm going to do a two ring pull. The two Alvi shots that I really, really needed to hit it perfect, and both great. I think if I had hit that perfect, it would have been in on the other side. It's a slight over pull. I was at minimum club. I did 0.9. I was able to get way down on the ring, so it was definitely an uphill shot. I did 0.9 times 3 divided by 1.4. Let's see what the difference is. I got two sets of notes for it. 1.3, 4, 2.92, 2.07. Minus one, so it'd have been two. Either way, it'd have been two. See if my opponent can get the shot off. Maybe. Perfect. Dead center perfect. Get in the hole. Nope. No dice. Alright. Minus 14 will definitely get me into the tournament. But I really believe in the weekend round, you're going to have to shoot a 16 or better. To guarantee... Like, if you come in with a 15 in a lot of brackets, hell, a 14 with good tiebreakers might win it in a lot of brackets. But I think, you know, 15 plus in most brackets, you're going to put yourself in contention for a banner. But if you can shoot a 16, you're, I really believe in most Ricky brackets, if you shoot a 16, you're probably going to win a banner. If not, just get a win. And there's definitely some holes out there you want to have notes on for those shots going to the cup because they're definitely makeable and it's and what I like about this course and what I've always liked about this course is this course teaches you about pinpoint placement so it, you don't want to get he, here you want to get there and it's like well 
you were still out in the fairway. Yeah, but this spot's nice, and this spot blows. And this course has a lot of holes like that where you got to be in the if you put yourself in the right spot you got a great shot to the cup i like it i like the original configuration better it was tougher but i'll take it all right let's see what we got here let's see what we did so we got three people at minus 14. these players cannot be separated these players cannot be separated I can't, I mean, we still have a lot of people to play in the bracket, so with the two holes that are easy, I'm thinking, you know, it may take a 14, definitely a 13. Some of these 13s might be at risk, so we're definitely going to have to pick up shots. All right, that was uh, my qualifying round for the new year 2023 nine hole cup. I'm going to try and get up. I'll well, see how I feel tomorrow because we have a super busy day getting ready for vacation. We'll be gone for a couple of weeks. And um, hopefully I can get up in the morning early and play because it's only a one hour round. I can play play it in the morning, and knock, knock it out and get it done with and then get on with my day. So that's my goal right now. We'll see how that pans out tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Everybody have a great new year. Um, hopefully everybody's being safe. And definitely be safe on New Year's. Thanks for watching.